Sadly, the measures the government announced yesterday are necessary and we will support them. But there's no getting away from the fact. And what angers people the most and frustrates me the most is that yet again, the Prime Minister waited until the 11th hour to take this decision. It was blatantly obvious last week that the Prime Minister's plan for a free-for-all over Christmas was a risk too far. And yet, rather than listening to concerns and taking them seriously, the Prime Minister did what he always does. Dismissed the challenge, ruffled his hair and made a flippant comment. The Prime Minister's claim that this is all down to a new form of the virus that's only just emerged just doesn't stand up to scrutiny. On Monday last week, the Health Secretary told the House of Commons about the new strain of the virus. On Tuesday, medical professionals warned that the lifting of restrictions over Christmas would be, in their words, a major error. And I called for a review. On Wednesday, I challenged the Prime Minister to toughen up the restrictions. We've known about rising infections and the NHS reaching capacity in many parts of the country for weeks. The new strain was actually first spotted back in September. The alarm bells have been ringing for weeks, but the Prime Minister chose to ignore them. A virus of this sort demands early action, decisive action, a clear plan and a clear message. Yet we've had none of that. The Prime Minister delayed. He told the country to go ahead and have a merry little Christmas. He told people in London and the South East to carry on shopping and to make plans to see families. And yet, three days later, he tells millions of families to rip up those plans and introduces further restrictions. What I want to know this morning and what everyone across the country wants to know this morning is how on earth did this happen? How could the government allow people to go on as they were when they knew they'd lost control of the virus? It's an act of gross negligence by a Prime Minister who once again has been caught behind the curve, who once again offered confusion, not clarity, who undermined public confidence who always over-promises and under-delivers, and who is now asking the British people to pay the price for his incompetence.